All right, guys. Rotten's coming back with some more magic for me to open. Obviously, you guys know how much I love it. We have a draft box of Modern Horizons 2. Uh, one of my favorite sets ever. I love Modern Horizons 2. Controversial opinion. Not a lot of people do. Or, like, it's pretty mixed, I would say. And we have a collector pack of Lord of the Rings as well. Uh, what do you want to start with, Rotten? Do you want to rip the collector booster first to make Max happy? Or do you want to do the, uh, the draft box? Either one. Lord of the Rings first? Sure. Oh, jeez. I forgot how hard these packs can be to open. Just to get the free shipping? That's fair. Maybe if I can open it, maybe. Jesus. Right, I'm going to maybe cheat here. I know this is not getting cards, I promise. Jesus Christ, dude. What did they seal these with? Okay, we got there. It took way too long, but we got there. All right, get through some of the commons. Foil commons and uncommons. Nice foil map mountain. Lotho Corrupt Sheriff. It's our first rare. We have Shelob, Child of Ungalant. Ungaliant. Uh, I think Shelob's a card that's kind of gone up in price a little bit. Trapped the Trespassers. Elrond, Lord of Riverdale. Samwise. We have Frodo. Many partings, and our last card is Pippin, Guard of the Citadel. That's our rare there. No ring. No Bowmasters. Alright, that's okay. This is what we're here for anyway. Modern Horizons 2. So, I know what we're looking for. We're looking for Fetchlands, we're looking for Elementals, and we're looking for my favorite monkey. And some other. There's some other stuff in there, too. Those are the big ones. Get through the commons and uncommons. We have Blazing Ruwala. The old border, we have Extruder. And Priest of Felrites, fun card there. And a squirrel. Squirrel token. We have not opened any hockey today. No hockey today yet. Foundation Breaker is a good card. Karmic Guide. And we have Chitter Spitter as well, and the Crab Token. Tide Shaper in the Old Border, nice one there. Sea Drake and Rise and Shine as our rare. Uh, Murktide Region is my favorite card in this set. I would also not mind opening a Murktide Region. One of my favorite magic cards literally ever. Gorilla Shaman. Academy Manufacturer. That's pretty good. We'll take Academy Manufacturer. Nice card there. Pretty good rare there. Yeah, Academy is a, a riser for sure. You can do some really silly, fun things with that card. Card people slept on when it came out for sure. How about a Darcy? Well, Penny Sleeve Darcy. Brainstone, Scourge Familiar. Subtlety! Nice! There we go. That's one of the ones we're after. Subtlety. Pretty sick. Rays and Live Lounge? Ooh. I didn't know Ray was Live Lounge tonight. 
Subtlety, our first big hit. Let's go. Want to see a Solitude or a Grief, but we'll take a Subtlety. We have Blood Braid, Marauder. I keep putting these in the wrong pile. I'm kind of driving myself crazy here. <clears throat> Sojourner's Companion, not a bad card. We have Riptide Lab and Nykthos Paragon and the Timeless Dragon Token. Yeah, all right, that's fair. We don't we don't need Fury, do we? Any of the other ones except Fury. That's a good point. Solitude, Endurance. We already got Subtlety. Subtlety's good. Unholy Heat. Well, Penny's leaving Unholy Heat. Counterspell. And how about an Urza Saga? There we go. Great hit there. We'll take it. We will take an Urza Saga for sure. Great hit out of the rare spot. I mean, we're going to get a couple fetch lands too. You, know, you never go through these boxes without getting like at least like two or three, I think. <clears throat> we have Chainer and Asmorena Martico Destin the Coldicar. Or Asmo, for short, but it's Asmorena Martico Destin the Coldicar. You okay? So actually, you guys are gonna give me crap that I can say that name, but I can't say like most soccer players, right? Isn't that fun that I know how to say that, but I, I can't pronounce most soccer players? Yeah, it's not that bad once you like break it down by syllable. <laughs> Is there an orb and thought monitor? Nice, I like thought monitor. Yeah, that is not an easy one, but it's honestly one of those things I wanted to learn how to do it just to, like, say that I knew how to do it. <laughs> just silly. Patriarch's Bidding is not bad. Sylvan Anthem, also pretty cool. Patriarch's Bidding used to be expensive. Only one Mythic so far, so we should get, like, three-ish more, I want to say. We have Enchanter's Presence and Scion of Draco. Nice. Really timely on this one. Let's go. Borderless Scion of Draco. Card is blowing up modern right now. Yeah, sick. Super nice card. Borderless Scion of Draco. Seeing a lot of modern play right now. Very, very good card. Gotta grab some more Penny Sleeps. I know, right? Literally like one dollar. And now it's like what like fifteen maybe? Ten to fifteen. Rishadon Dockhand is our rare there. I have not played One Piece. I have never watched One Piece, so I have no real like interest in the property. That'd be pretty cool, Rabbit. We have Misty Rainforest. I believe that's the still the best one we can hit. I know all these are pretty, like, relatively cheap now compared to what they used to be, but I'm pretty sure Misty is the... Pretty sure Misty? Yeah. We're just trying to avoid, what, Marsh Flats, right? Marsh Flats is the one we were like, eh. <laughs> I mean, we'll take a Marsh Flats, but... We have Cursed Totem, another card that's risen in price a little bit, thanks to Yawgmoth. Nice. Nice Cursed Totem there. I haven't... 
I tried to watch the new live action Avatar, and then all it made me want to do was rewatch the cartoon. So I rewatched the cartoon, and now we're watching Korra. I couldn't get into the show on Holy Heat. We have Zabaz the Glimmer Wasp. Another card you can do some broken things with. It felt like the live action Avatar was for people who never watched the cartoon, not for people who are fans of the cartoon. That's that's how it felt to me. Titania, protector of Argoth, and we have a Gaia's will as well. A foil flame rifter there. Yeah, like I'm sure it's fine. Um Yeah. Yeah, the little stories are what make the cartoon so good. Yeah, that's tough. The, the cartoon's so good, though. After just rewatching it, that just, like, it is crazy how good the cartoon is. Evan, we can definitely do that. Soul Snare and Brea's Apprentice. Can definitely add you to Q, Evan. We do have a, a group break coming up at 1. Um, but I will add you to Q. Grab it. Invoice. All right, I'll process that in a little bit. Yeah, I'm enjoying Korra. Um, not it's. I don't like Korra as much as Avatar. Korra's villains are insane, though. Korra's, Korra's villains are awesome. I'm in season three. We just started season three. Vindicate, nice. And another. How about another Cyan of Draco? Regular Cyan of Draco, sick. That's not bad. And a foil dockhand. Uh, yeah, I agree. I, I am liking it. Uh, I tried to watch it like a long time ago and like couldn't get into it, but I'm way more into it now. I love Amon. Amon is such a sick villain. Amon's so cool. Um, and I liked the villain from season two as well, whose name is escaping me. Tarlock? I believe plus like the lore in season two is just like so good like avatar avatar one is was like my favorite episode of like the entire series airbender or Korra. we have sea drake and glimpse of tomorrow slot machine card a little over halfway through the box now jimbo q's a little weird uh because we have the group break still coming at one o'clock um but there should be time after that like i'm gonna get through andre's hp andre just has a couple hp boxes profane tutor not bad um so i don't know when uh the group break probably like 45 minutes to an hour i would say that's just a guess. And Mango has two cases of HP that we're waiting on as well. I mean, HP doesn't take, like, a long time. Greed. And Timeless Dragon, my favorite. One of my favorite cards in the set. I love Timeless Dragon. Uh, probably not. Before the group break. Probably not. We have Sarah's Emissary as another mythic. So we probably going to be all of our mythics here. And we have Persist and a Foil Sketch Esper Sentinel. Let's go. Foil Sketch Esper Sentinel. Love Esper Sentinel as well. Be back toward the end. Yes, sounds good, Jimbo. You can drop the invoice now if you have the order just so we can get it pulled. But yeah, I'll put you in queue. That way, you know, just we, we have it. But yeah, it'll be probably after the group break. Foil Sketch Esper Sentinel. Eric Deschamps, one of the best. 
It's not a one of one. That's like it's stats. It's crazy, Bloomy. Like, it's insane. You've missed this morning. We pulled so much crazy stuff this morning, too. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's 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 got like one one attack, one defense. Like you see the sign on a Draco has like four attack, four defense. Do all the creatures we've pulled so far have all right, yeah, like Academy Manufacturer has like one attack, three defense. It's called power and toughness, but in my head attack and defense is easier. Like there's a four three. Four attack, three defense. Yeah, you just saw Divers K. It's crazy. That, I arguably still not even the best thing. We should watch um, the end of Mustang's break, if you haven't seen that. The end of Mustang's break is crazy. Hunting pack, soul talisman, and a foil ignoble hierarch. Nice. I don't know what ignoble is worth still, but good card. Honestly, for you, Rotten, this is less me and more just how good Modern Horizons 2 is to open. We should still have some fetch lands coming too. Master of Death and General Ferris. I love General Ferris a lot. Also, the wrong pile. Gotta stop doing that. We've only gotten the Misty. We've gotten what? How many mythics? One, two, three mythics. We might, we might actually get one. Oh no, four mythics because there's a Sarah's emissary. Yeah, that's right. I think you're right. Also, the draft format is very fun. For 175, this is like a really good. That's a really good price. I wonder if that's just because Ragavans come down a lot, so people aren't just like into it. But braids and dress down. I love dress down. One of my favorite design cards. Cookbook for Asmo. How about, sure, sure, okay, cool. How about another Esper Sentinel? How about another Esper Sentinel? Rotten, you like Esper Sentinels? I like Esper Sentinels. I like Esper Sentinels. Why not? I like I like Esper. It's also another one. I, I say this about so many cards, but I, another card I just love to play. Prismatic Ending in the Old World. It's our first Prismatic Ending. That's kind of weird. Changer's Presence. Ah, about a Yabi Maya as well. Another nice one there. Yeah, it's a crazy box. Insane box. But again, this is this is a Modern Horizons 2 box. This isn't like a special like this is this is my experience opening Modern Horizons 2 is this. This is probably a little like better, but for the most part like this is about what I expect. Seal of Cleansing and Gaia's Will on the old border. Okay, oh, dokie. I hate what it's doing outside right now. It's horrendous. Like five and six inches. Are you serious? I'm not. I, I wish I, I wish Jesus. I would care. That's insane. I'd love to come in here and stand the Yankee and change. That's but dumb. Yeah, you know, it's pretty. It's Brainstone. Pretty Goblin Bombardment. And how about Dakon? Nice extra mythic thrown in there. I love this art a lot as well. Richard Kane Ferguson, one of the goats. <laughs> RKF, one of the goats. Five packs to go. We still only have one fetch line, so we should usually get like two to three. Did get the Saga and the uh, Yabi Maya, though. Maybe that throws off the ratios a little bit. Mm. Flame Rift and Harmonic Prodigy. And we have Verdant Command and a Foil Arcbound Whelp. Yeah, Bloomy. Yeah. <laughs> we have T 
territorial Kavu. Has has Kavu gone up in price at all? That card's seeing more play now. Two packs to go. Come on, we need one more fetch line. Come on. Kind of crazy we've only gotten the one. I don't think I've ever seen a box of this open without at least like two. Rashid on dock hand. I mean, I'm not going to complain too much. Because the rest of the box has been awesome, but this is a little, a little weird. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're smacking on the rares for sure. Wonder is our last rare, and Necrogoyf, last couple rares. So, yeah, only one fetch line, which is weird, but crazy good box. Um, you know, just of, like, higher value stuff. This is pretty great. Two Esper Sentinels, Misty Rainforest, two Scion of Dracos, Urza Saga, Subtlety. I mean, yeah, that's... A pretty crazy box with like Yavi Maya, Ignoble, and uh, yeah, double Sentinels are nuts. Uh, double and double Scion, double Sentinel and double Scion's kind of insane. Like that, if we're gonna get repeats of Rares and Mythics, those are pretty damn good ones to get repeats of. Those are those are good cards. That's good stuff. All right, Rotten. Thank you for the order as always. You know, you know, I always say it. Always down to rip some magic for you, my friend. Thank you a lot, Rotten. Appreciate you.